My name is Josep Kohl. I am a comparative psychologist specialized in primary cognition. My name is Gunther Knoblich. I'm a cognitive scientist and I work on social interaction. My name is Gerd Gerge. I'm a professor of uh, cognitive science and developmental psychology. My name is Dan Sperber and I'm a cognitive and social scientist. We are interested in looking at coordination, communication and social transmission. So the question we are addressing is uh, what makes humans special and why humans have culture and other species don't have culture. We are interested in looking at similarities and differences between humans and non-human primates. By looking at our closest living relatives, we can gain some insights that tell us something about human nature. What makes us different from apes is the huge, complex social organizations we have and the rich cultural competencies that flow through these uh, social organizations. What is special about humans is uh, that they are ultra-social uh, and cooperative and uh, have become specialists in coordinating their roles in bringing about joint goals that individuals alone could not realize. One way in which human communication is special and much richer, of course, than that of any other animal is that when we have some idea in mind, we inform others, not just about the topic of ideas, there is a psychological level on top of informative level. What we are trying to unravel is the psychological level of this sociality. We are studying the individual processes that enable uh, humans to create culture and to propagate it across generations. The Synergy program for us came exactly at the right time and so we didn't have to look for a topic. The scientific question was just there. The project is based here in Budapest where three of the teams work and also in St. Andrews, where another team working with non-human primates also works. People that are trained in some methods get to go to a lab for two, three months, and they can teach others in that lab. And others that are there can benefit from the new knowledge that they bring. This is exciting, and this is, I think, what should happen in our field. They allow a young scientists to be in a context that fosters interdisciplinary work. This is an excellent way to train the future scientists as well as to develop efficient and new original understanding of the problems that we aim to solve together. The best ideas come from the young people. So I think you know, the, the role of the PI is to actually set a context in which uh, productive ideas can emerge. One challenge of a Synergy project is to find the right distance between teams which have complementary competencies. The synergetic work allows us to ask the more theoretical questions in a sharper manner because we have to fit each of the disciplines. I can see my questions in the context of what the others find interesting and that makes my results more relevant. It was very important for us to get a common ground so that we can integrate your own thinking with the thinking of other colleagues to create something that definitely none of us could do on our own. We have been enriched tremendously by our interactions with our colleagues. For me, synergy means enhanced relevance. Fresh perspectives. Fun. Greater challenges. New ideas and creative solutions interdisciplinarity, creativity, opportunity, learning from each other, pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge. Synergy means the future of science.